Good morning, students. In the earlier video of motion chapter, we had discussed about motion, types of quantity, reference point, uniform and non-uniform motion, and speed. Now, moving on further, we will be discussing about speed with direction, which is also known as velocity. Velocity is a vector quantity. So, question arises. What is vector quantity, which we have already discussed in the earlier video? There are two types of quantity: scalar quantity and vector quantity. Scalar quantity is a quantity which requires only magnitude for its complete description, whereas vector quantities are those quantities which require magnitude and direction for its description. Moving on further, what is velocity? A change in displacement of a body. Is known as velocity. Velocity is symbolized by v. The formula to find velocity is v equal to d by t, where d stands for displacement. The unit of velocity is meter per second and kilometer per hour. In the earlier video itself, we had seen that there are two types of motion: uniform motion and non-uniform motion. If a body is in uniform motion, the velocity of the vehicle can be calculated easily but if the vehicle is in non uniform motion we need to in order to find the velocity of the object we need to know the quantity known as average velocity average velocity is nothing but the average or mean of initial velocity plus final velocity that is initial velocity plus final velocity divided by 2 the unit of average velocity is also the same meter per second and kilometer per hour the next topic is acceleration what is acceleration the change in velocity of a body in unit time is known as acceleration it is also a vector quantity because it depends on magnitude as well as direction a change in velocity means it can be either increase in velocity or decrease in velocity in order to un understand the increase in velocity and decrease in velocity we will take one one example if you are moving on a highway without any obstacle you provide accelerator to your vehicle the velocity of the vehicle increases whereas if you are riding your vehicle in traffic you need to apply brake at different junction at that time the velocity of the body decreases or increases generally when we apply brake the velocity of the body decreases so acceleration is nothing but change in velocity of a body in unit time the symbol for acceleration is a equal to v minus u upon t Where v stands for final velocity, u stands for initial velocity. The unit of acceleration is meter per second square and centimeter per second square. Next topic is uniformly accelerated motion. From the word uniform itself, you might have got the point. What do we need to discuss? So here I have got a table in which suppose you release a body from a particular height. Here. Here the first table deals with time, second with velocity, and third with acceleration. So here, when the body is stationary at time zero, the velocity is zero. But as you release the body after one second, you are able to see that the velocity gained by the object is nine point eight. So acceleration is v minus u upon t, where v is nine point eight and u is zero. So nine point eight. Minus zero upon t two minus t one that is one minus zero nine point eight meter per second square. Now as we move to the th third row, after two second, the velocity is nineteen point six. In order to find the acceleration, it is final velocity minus initial velocity upon two. So the final velocity will become the velocity of the object. At two second, that is nineteen point six minus nine point eight upon t three 
minus t2 that is 2 minus 1 it again turns out to be 9.8 meter per second square now moving on to the fourth row at time 3 seconds the velocity of the body is 29.4 meter per second in order to find the acceleration we will take the difference of final velocity minus initial velocity Here the final velocity will be the velocity of the object at 3 seconds that is 29.4 and initial velocity will be 19.6 so 29.4 minus 19.6 upon t3 t4 minus t3 that is 3 minus 2 1 that is 29.4 minus 19.6 9.8 meter per second square so here you can see the increase in velocity of a body is uniform in equal interval of time or it is equal in equal interval of time when the body is said to be performing uniform accelerated motion